Here you go, now, fellas. Here we go with the war hog. I've got a picture, it's a crazy little picture. It takes a bit of deciphering. I guess a hog with a funny sort of helmet on top. Anyway, a war hog. This is an IPA, 7.5%. A bit of a kick ass, I reckon. And they do, they, they love an IPA in the morning, I reckon. They've written some funny stuff on the side of the can. I can smell the passion fruit from here. Really fruity. Full, full, full on. Oh yeah. Wow. That's the bloody mouth. Oh, I tell you. Flavours going all over the shop. I don't mind that. Very hoppy. There's a little bit of sour sweetness in there, so they get away with it. You couldn't have too many of them. It's a little bit on the, the stringent bitter side. But it's getting away with it with the fruit, the passion fruit, the... Mm. It looks unfiltered. So it's got that much flavour, it's ridiculous. Anyway, they're not cheap. Brewed in WA, Western Australia. They've done a pretty good job with the Feral Brewing Company. They do pretty good beers. I'm pretty impressed with that again. It's sort of like one of those companies that are right out there and they're getting their flavours right. Yeah, they're combining things. The brewer must have a pretty good nose and a pretty good tongue on him he can get the right flavors happening i'd be a good taster i reckon for a brewery i'll be fucking they'd kill me though they tell me they're an alcoholic i wouldn't like that plus how many breweries make more than six beers you'd have to be out of the job in a week wouldn't you all right well that's the war hog i've seen a few hogs in me days few pogs as well we won't go there will be nice uh, how about a travel story WA yeah I worked over in WA I did um, did some work in a few shops Thomas Cook and uh, the international duty-free shops at the new well it wasn't it's not new now but the new international airport it was all going ahead during the America's Cup so I got a Guernsey, worked over there for about six weeks, knocked over my job, knocked over speeds in um, Fremantle, a shoe shop, and finished off the duty free shops. Another guy has just lost it, he had to go home. Uh, yeah, good times actually, I really enjoyed working in Perth, living there. It is weird though, if you're a bit of a night owl like myself and you'd like the beach as well well you're fucked because the wind blows about 12 o'clock every day so if you're not down the beach by 10 o'clock it's all over 12 one o'clock the Fremantle doctor comes in and just blows the shit to the beaches you got sand in your eyes it's really uncomfortable anyway well, enough of the Perth and the nightlife was pretty good we used to go to the casino a bit there's a Melbourne hotel which was really close to where we work so we went there a little bit and there was a few other pubs the southeastern highway there was a pub along there we used to go to a bit that was all right they had topless barmaids I dropped one off one night but a nice bike didn't touch her but that gave me in good order with all the rest of the staff yeah they will love me after that anyway it's all good enjoy the um the war hogs, if you find them, they're bloody good beers. I'm loving it. But I'm only having one. I couldn't drink them all day. Cheers, fellas.